Hello everybody and welcome back to another video here on the beautiful, beautiful UNC world. Not sure if we're running with that name, but I guess we will for this video. Today we are in Pearl City. Um, as you can probably see by the title of the video and the thumbnail, we are going to be taking a look at this amazing stadium I built. Now Pearl did a, he did a tour of the stadium on his channel too, so you should go check that out if you want a more cinematic style to the tour. But um, I'm kind of going to be showing you guys around it and tell you my, I don't know, design process, what I was thinking, going through building it. Yeah, that kind of stuff. So, so kind of be more in depth. Um, so yeah, anyway, here we have the Eagle Stadium in Pearl City. It's actually Comerica Park from Detroit. Um, it's a very nice stadium. I built, this was my first ever stadium build that I've ever done. And I built it in about a week's time. It was uh, consistent working. It was my last project over summer break, pretty much, is what what ended up happening here. So, yeah, it turned out pretty nice, I think, for my first stadium. I'm very impressed with how, how awesome it is. It's very big. It's a large portion of Pearl City. Um, but yeah, I'm very proud of it. So, yeah, here we have all the stores. So there's gonna be like stores in these things at some point. Um, that's when I'll do interior to it, which probably won't be for quite a while because doing the interior to a stadium after just finishing the exterior is uh, it's, um, it's very difficult and it will take me a super long time. So yeah, anyway, here we have a little carousel in here. Um, I really like this carousel design. We've used it in other places on the world too, like um, in the waterfront park in New York. Um, and then we have these little walkways up into the second deck of seating. Which is pretty nice. So here you can overlook Pearl City. There will be a building over there that I'm going to work on pretty soon. And you can see the rest of Pearl City over there too. Got the lights. Yeah, no, I really just love how the stadium turned out. Especially the field itself. Um, it was pretty hard to do the field design because I literally was using um, like actual math to calculate some of the lengths and distances on the field because I had to put the field on a diagonal and building on a diagonal in Minecraft is pretty hard because you know most people would think oh you know you can do you've got a three block square like this then you can do um, like this would be the diagonal version of it or something because you've got you know you've got three blocks on the outside you can do a three blocks but if you do that it actually makes the square a little bit bigger see how you have four blocks on the inside and only one here so yeah I had to use um, this thing called the Pythagorean theorem to calculate the distances of putting the stadium on a diagonal. It was it was a lot of math. I was not expecting to use math this summer, but uh, I ended up using it. Um, you know, there's a lot of curves and diagonals that go into the stadium too, such as the archways over these. You got the slopes of the ramps down there. Very cool. I was pretty proud of myself for figuring that out. Then we're coming over here. We've got some probably more gift shops someday. Over here, I think I was supposed to build a Ferris wheel, but I don't think I ever got around to it. It's like a mini Ferris wheel in the real Comerica Park here. So yeah, you get some stores, some restaurants, and bars over here. It's pretty nice. Um, this is kind of like the uh, it's like the athletic facility. So this is where they keep all the food that they use and the different vendors and things like that in the ballpark. So all ships in through here and yeah, it's brought into the stadium. So we got another, yet another deck coming in, you know, another thing that you can walk up to get to the upper levels of the stadium. And then over here you've got a little bit more of an actual staircase for the stadium as well. So yeah, it looks pretty nice. I am, yeah, I am, like I said, I am very proud of this build. This, uh, this is honestly probably my favorite build I've ever done. And I've done quite a few builds, but uh, none that were as large as this and complicated as this. So we got the scoreboard back here, the back side of it. Then you've got the gates entering into the ballpark. This is a really cool part that I like too. So I actually ended up stretching this area over here and I made it a little bit bigger than it was supposed to be in real life. So I ended up doing a little garden area when you walk in. Um, so got some bathrooms, some, you know, more vendors. You can get probably jets or something. They have a lot of jets in Comerica Park. Um, it's my local ballpark that I go to, so it's pretty nice. So yeah, you got all this stuff. The garden's really nice. I really like how this area turned out. Adds a little bit of greenery to the stadium besides the actual field. 
then going over here, you've got like walkways under here. You know, over here is where they keep the, um, well, what's Miggy's um, records right now. You know, all his home runs and all the things that he's hit. So, very, very cool. You can't tell I am a pretty big baseball fan. Um, I play the sport myself. I'm a pitcher. Uh, yeah, I really like the game. Good game. So, yeah, walking over here. You got this part. This part needs to be touched up a little bit. But I'll probably do those little things over over the course of time when I come back and work on the stadium again sometime in the future. Over here we got the little back part. Um, so we have a read Pearl City because, you know, you are in Pearl City. And you got five American flags back there. I like the American flags up there on top of the wind stand as well. It looks really good. So there's the scoreboard and all the advertisements on it. And then, yeah, you can kind of overlook Pearl City from here. It's really nice. I do really like this. It's a pretty amazing stadium. You got all the VIP seating up here as well. So, yeah, very nice. Uh, you got the dugouts down here. These aren't the most over-complex designs. They're kind of just simple for the time being. So that they work, you can be in here. You can see all the city. Yeah, it's very nice. Um, so, obviously, this would be the home side. And then you got a way over here. Yeah, it's a very cool stadium. There's even one of these little entrances onto the field over here. So, yeah, super cool. There's the other gates. That's the other way you can get in. There's uh, another way over there, too. So there's like, oh, I think you can get in there right now. But it's, that one's supposed to be closed off. It's only open so when you exit. Now here, here's supposed to be the bullpens, but I forgot to do those. Honestly, they just slipped my mind. I didn't do them when I did the whole field. I had a weird process to building this stadium. I started with the field, which is what you should do. And then I started over here in this corner, and then I built up this corner, and then I went all the way around. I did all the seats, and then I did the outside last. The outside part was the last part that I kind of did. So yeah, this building shouldn't be here, it should be in three times. It's, it's over there in the city, like the actual one, but yeah, it's, we, we had it moved aside so that um, so that we could move it in the correct way around and everything. We do that a lot in cities like this. But yeah, here's the really nice ballpark view. So it's, it's very large, as I said. I'd estimate that it's probably around 500 by 400 blocks. It's, it's very, it's a very, it's a very huge portion of this world. Um, actually, I should maybe maybe if I am not lazy, I'll edit a picture of the world map onto here so you can see just how big of a space it takes up comparatively to the rest of Pearl City. But yeah, it's a very big stadium. I'm very proud of it. I am super happy I built it. Um, yeah, now that I did this, I know I can build stadiums. So I'll probably be building stadiums in the future as well. Um, if you guys have any stadium recommendations, please let me know because I don't know which ones I'm going to build for the New York City yet or any of the other cities for that matter. But when I do decide, I will build them. So yeah, if you got any stadium recommendations, put them in the comments below. But yeah, now I'm just going to kind of show you guys a couple of the great shots you can get of the stadium from around Pearl City. There's quite a good, there's quite a few good looking areas of it. So, obviously I just showed you the overhead view of it just a second ago there. But now I'm going to go to some of the buildings in Pearl City so you can see the different views from them. So yeah, the stadium's very tall. It, it is very close to being one of the tallest buildings in Pearl City, even though it's not really a building. It's only because of the lights. The lights are what sticks out on it. Oh, actually, let me see if I can increase my render distance here so we can see it from farther away. And then oh, 76. Let's crank that up all the way. There we go. So now we should be able to see it from just about anywhere in the in the city. So there it is. It's kind of on the waterfront of the city. So we're gonna have some highways going by it. That's where I started building the stadium. I started it over there, and then when I got to that part, I moved it into its final spot. We were just waiting for a good spot to put it. So yeah, it's, it looks very cool in the city though. It looks like it fits in pretty well. I like that. 
I was worried that it was gonna be too big when I was building it, like that it was it wouldn't look good because it was just be too large for the city, make everything else look out of proportion. But I think it really fit and blended in well once I finished it. So yeah, you can see it. All of these buildings. It looks very cool. So yeah. And then we've got some highway projects going on over there and some other new stuff. Yeah, Pearl City's probably one of the most rapid expanding cities right now. Um, we are testing out a new feature of the world over here. It's going to be the economy feature, so you can commission people to build stuff. That's kind of what the stadium was. So Pearl paid me uh, 1.5 million of our currency to build it. I probably should have charged more because, well, yeah, it was it was a large project. It, I didn't expect it to take me a week. I Part of me thought it would take longer, and then the other part of me thought it would take shorter time because... I don't know, it looked pretty simple. It's probably one of the more simple stadiums out there. So yeah, there you got it. There's that epic stadium view. And then we'll get a view from the bridge as well. This bridge is new too, we just moved this in. This was in the New York City, but we decided that it would work better over here since Pearl City's based on Detroit. And this is, yeah, that's where, that's where this bridge is from, it's from Detroit. So we got some highways going on over here, we gotta figure out all this. I did that interchange over there as well. Yeah, that took a long time. That was a while ago though. I think I showed that on one of our live streams, but I'll probably do a more detailed review of it once I finish it up. But yeah. So obviously we gotta move those buildings out of the way and that stuff, but when we do, it'll be a very cool view seeing the stadium from the water over here. And yeah, it's very, very aesthetic. I really like that. Uh, mm -hmm. At the Lincoln Bridge, that's what it's called. On the world. It's actually the Ambassador Bridge in real life, but... Who's, who's, who's counting? Okay. So yeah, we try to off-brand, off-name things a little bit, so that it's more custom to the world itself. And you got the mountains over there. This is going to be a university, I think, one day, but... We'll see. We'll see when that gets done. But yeah, there you have it. There's the view of the stadium from the bridge. So we'll have a highway going around there. We'll do some waterfront stuff too so it doesn't look so out of place there. But honestly, I think it looks pretty cool. So yeah, anyway guys, we're going to go ahead and wrap the video up there. If you did enjoy this video, make sure you leave a like and subscribe. Show some support for this awesome stadium build. Um, yeah, we'll see you guys later.